another week, another setback. I don't want to start videos off like this in a negative vibe, but I have to be straight up with you guys and show you what's really going down. So let's get into it. Right, so what do I mean by bad vibes, negative vibes, uh, failure, right? Another failure. Uh, the project we've been working on for weeks and weeks and weeks, I'd say almost 20 weeks or so, uh, we yesterday had that test and we got the results back and we failed, right? So there's two important things to realize here. One, it's not that bad. And two, uh, we saw this coming. So let's get into the second one first. Uh, we saw this coming. What do you mean? I mean, why would you hand in something that you know is not good enough, right? So due to COVID, which is not an excuse, by the way, we had some time management issues, right? We had to do a lot of the project at the end of the project, close to the deadline, because COVID hit here. I mean, it already had hit, but like we closed down completely and we couldn't do interviews, which were part of the research. We couldn't get specific data, which was part of the research, which is why it took a lot of long time to get this uh, information so we could actually advance in the project, which is, uh, which is critical for, um, you know, not making errors, mistakes, uh, because you're working too fast at the end and first of all this is a good thing why is this a good thing right first of all failure is always a good thing because once you fail uh, you will learn something hopefully you should learn something you can do better the next time which will guarantee that you won't fuck up the second time right why else is this a good thing right because the whole group failed it's not just me and one girl in my group that have to retake the entire project it's a whole group as a combined that has to retake the project uh, which is great because let's say we would have gotten a 6 out of 10 because right now we've gotten a 5 out of 10 that would mean that I still have to retake to get that 7 out of 10 for my master's degree so meaning that I failed right now is that I get a free chance to redeem myself and not just get the 6 but get the 7 straight away which saves me time in the long run so it's a good thing uh, also the circumstances are ideal we get to choose when we want to hand it in I think we got like 30 weeks or something to get it done which is crazy that's so long and I'm 100% positive we can get this done. So uh, that's the talking part for this video. I don't want to bother you too long. Let's get into my week. Thank you for understanding. I just want to share everything with you. I mean, at the end of the day, this is road to master's degree. This is an important part of it. It's not all ups. It's definitely a lot of downs, a lot of downs. I'd say even more downs than ups. But at the end, it's the ups that matter. It's the total picture that matters. It's the end result uh, that matters, right? So let's get to work. Right guys, so right now I want to be a little bit more uh, vulnerable with you guys and I have to admit that I feel very stressed right now. I don't know exactly why, probably the project, the aftermath of it. Uh, like I just told you, we didn't do do that well. Uh, not that that bothers me, I mean it's part of the process. I love failing because failing allows me to grow and become better over time. But uh, I want to be straight up with you guys and I want to show you that it's not all about this perfect 10 hour day study routine and I don't recommend it. I don't recommend going that hard. I recommend a balanced routine uh, just as much as I recommend a balanced diet, balanced training schedule because doing too much well, for a long period of time will burn you out and you will have to stop and that will even out to just about as much as doing you know just a little bit but spread it spread out more so over the week. So. Keep that in mind don't go too hard go hard go as hard as you can when you can but don't go too hard make sure you take time off make sure you rest make sure you feel excited to to go hard make sure you uh, don't make up excuses but you don't go too too hard to the point where you're burning yourself out i've been there i've done that i've had doctors getting involved with it because i was so sick i, I had so many problems with that that might be a fun topic or fun topic for the next video but i just want to share that with you just from me to you being real take it easy but go hard all right guys so now that that is out of the way we just recorded some clips for another video right but i quickly want to talk about what we're going to do now so i've got one test the 25th but i've also got one speaking exam on the 26th right so jesus we got to go prep for that and um, I want to do it in a video format. They, tell, they told me if you can do something creative like a video or a picture or like a mood board kind of thing, you can get extra points, which is great because obviously I make videos for YouTube. I can easily make a quick video for school. It only has to be three minutes, so we're going to go do that right now. But first, let's come up with some ideas. Think of a good idea. Make sure everything is in the right format. 
and I get to work. All right guys, so we're going for a quick workout right now. I was just using the tripod here to record the school thing. We made the planning right here. I'll show you right real fast. Just just a mind map kind of thing with some bullet points. It just recorded everything. It might not look the best uh, for the video that, for school that is, by the way. But I heard most people just had a PowerPoint presentation. So it'll probably stand out right away. So it'll probably be fine. I don't have to try too, too hard. But I think this should be enough. So I'll edit it once I get back, but for now let's go work out because of the little rain. So I'm gonna quickly go work out just before it rains and I get back. When it's raining, I'll be editing the video and then shower when rendering. Super efficiency right there. Let's get to it. All right guys, this week is a little bit of a messy one. I feel stressed out. I don't exactly know why, but uh, right. It is currently 9.16 in the morning. Uh, I've got another meeting at 10 where we're gonna showcase the video I made yesterday. Uh, so I'll take you along for a ride and uh, let's get into some studying again today. All right guys, so since I'm a little bit uh, stressed out, I'm trying to study a little bit in the morning and then take it a little bit easier throughout the rest of the day, right? So I know I don't have to go balls to the walls for this one to pass. And even if I don't pass, it will be fine in the end. I'll just retake it when I'm a little bit uh, you know calmer and the thing is here right and this is something I want to portray in this message in this video is that Health is number one health is always number one. So if you are literally killing yourself over your job Don't uh, Think about your life for a second think what is the most important thing and for me right now? Obviously, I want to get the degrees and stuff But there's no fun in getting a degree if you're not healthy to enjoy it, right? So I'm taking it a little bit easier uh, there is obviously the risk that I might fail this test, but uh, we'll see in the end, right? I'm just gonna do my best uh, Who knows I might feel great tomorrow and I can get a lot of work done But in the end I trust in myself I trust in the system and I know in the end it'll be fine And that's the message of this video for sure. So let's do a little bit of study Good morning. Honestly, this week is, is kind of weird. Um, I can't really show you too much what I'm doing because I'm not doing that much. Uh, right here, we got food. I got a, a cup of tea. <laughs> I've been drinking more tea recently. Right here, uh, Earl Grey is my favorite right now. Um, might change in the future though, but yeah. Today, what I, what, what's the plan? Uh, we're gonna go over the topics with a girl from a class. We're gonna go uh, study together about we're just gonna look over all the topics and see like what's important, what's not important. Make sure we know those things at least. Like I said, we're gonna try to make the best out of it. Uh, we'll see what I can do. Right now I'm just gonna go over it myself a little bit so I can have some solid input and then we should be good. Not gonna go crazy today. I wanna go for a walk today. Uh, I think that's it, I think that's it, yeah. Uh, I'll just take you along of course, but uh, yeah, just, just a quick reminder to you. Make sure you don't burn out. I just got a comment from someone here talking about burnout. Avoid it at all costs, trust me. Right guys, we just had lunch, meaning that we're ready. We're ready to go, got some coffee. I feel great today, which is which is great because then I can get some studying in. So right here we have some notes. Just took some notes from the call I had. Uh, and we're gonna go through that. I'm gonna make sure I know all these things so we can finally round up this subject. So my test is always about different subjects. So it's all my courses in one test, uh, which might seem weird for some of you all. I never really realized how weird that is, but uh, that's just the way my, uh, my, uh, my college works, right? So this is for this course. I gotta go through these little note points. Should be fine, should be take like one and a half hours or so. And then we can uh, relax for the day, do something else, uh, maybe study some more, we'll see. But let's get into it. Right guys, just going for a quick walk. Got myself a podcast on here. It's kind of cold, but I love this weather. This is my favorite weather for sure. Time to relax. Studying was productive. Uh, just love going for walks, man. Just love it so much. So let's enjoy this. Right guys, another day. Um, it is currently 3 p.m. already. Um, yeah, I just put on a different shirt here. 
Um, yeah, I just went to work out. I don't even remember what I did this morning, but what's important right now is that we finish this list, right? So I've made a video why I don't like to do a list, right? But I did write like a little sketch up of the last couple things I want to do before the test starts on Monday. Obviously, like I explained, uh, this is not going to be my best test ever. I'm not expecting to 100% pass like I always do uh, or normally do, I should say. But there are some things I do have to get done. Yesterday I got some of them done. Right now I'm going to get another important part of them done. And then tomorrow, hopefully the last part. So let's get into it. All right. That's it. It's done. I got done what I wanted to get done for the day. It is currently 6.24 p.m. A little bit more than I dissipated, but uh, yeah, I mean, we had some rough days the last couple of days. Um, so I kind of wanted to get something done now that I feel decent, right? And all right, guys, this is the end of the video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today. I'm just gonna go over my notes. I just got back from a friend's house. Uh, nothing crazy, just going over my notes once more. By the time you're watching this, I'll be in the exam right now. Uh, it starts at 6.30, the video goes up at seven, so it should be an exam. This will all be in next video, so make sure you tune in to the next video to see how this all unfolds and stuff like that and what's next. Crazy things coming up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.